Hey, I'm Chris with Motion Worship, and I'm here to show you how to use motion backgrounds with PowerPoint. So I'm actually going to begin this tutorial by advising you not to use PowerPoint if you have any other option. The reason is that PowerPoint was not built for video use and using looping motion backgrounds can be incredibly difficult. There is a workaround that I'll walk through, but if you have any other option, we always recommend that people use something like ProPresenter or Easy Worship or Media Shout. Uh, but even if your church is super low on budget and you're looking for a free option, if you just Google free worship presentation software or free church presentation software, almost any of the options that you find, I can guarantee are going to be a better option than PowerPoint. But if you're stuck with PowerPoint, I'll show you how to use it. You just want to make sure that your version of PowerPoint is not earlier than 2010. Otherwise, these techniques are not going to work. All right, so the first step is going to be going to our insert tab here and then going to video and doing movie from file and selecting whatever motion background you want. I'll grab this one here. Now, this one happened to drop in at the right scale, but if yours isn't, uh, you can always scale it with these corner options here. And I would just make sure that you use the corner options. If you use these side ones, it'll stretch the video out so it won't necessarily be the correct aspect ratio. So just make sure you're scaling it up with the corner options. And then you'll notice once we drop this in here, our text disappeared because this video is on top of it. It's not a problem. You can just right click on it and then do send to back. This will send it all the way behind everything. Last thing I'll do is I'm just going to change this text here. Um, I'll put in some worship lyrics and then we're going to select all of this and we'll change it to white and we'll change the font to something like that. And then I'll delete this bottom text here. I'm also just going to go ahead and roughly center the text. All right, so if we go to the slideshow tab here and we click play from start to check this out, you'll notice that our motion background is not starting until we click on the screen. We don't want that. We want it to start automatically and that's easy to do. We're just gonna hit escape and get out of this. So select your video and go to playback and then under the start option, under this drop down here, it's currently set to in click sequence. Change that over to automatically and then make sure to check this box that says loop until stopped. Now, if we go back to the slideshow and we hit play from start, the background starts right away and this will actually loop, if we fast forward, seamlessly loop to the beginning. Okay, so let's make the next lyric slide for our song. So normally you would think you would select this, do control C, control V to paste this, and then we would type in our next line. And this is splitting it to three lines. Normally I'd want those on two, but this is fine for now. We'll just roughly center it. And now if we go back to our first one here and we go to slideshow and play from start, we have our first video and then we would hit the arrow to our next one. But when we do that, it immediately starts the video over from the beginning. Now, this is the huge problem with PowerPoint. Uh, PowerPoint is super limited with motion background use. It is always going to start the video from the beginning. And there's no way around that if you're building out your lyric slides this way, which is how you would typically build them out in any presentation software. PowerPoint just does not allow you to loop the video in the background. So there's a really, really weird workaround that I'll show you. Uh, but we have to start by deleting this slide here. And we'll go back to our first one. Select your text block here. Copy it and paste it. Drag this text down and then I'll type in my second line again. Then we'll select this block and drag it back up into place, center it where you want it. Then we'll copy that again and paste it again and drag it down and do our next line. Drag this into place on top of these and you'd basically do this for your entire song, dragging all of the text on top of each other. What we're gonna do is we're gonna animate the fade in and fade out of all this text so that we can transition seamlessly between all of them over a looping motion background. So to do that, we're gonna select one of these text blocks like this and then do Command A or Control A to select everything. This is also selecting our motion background. So continue to hold Command or Control and then click on that to deselect it. And now we just have our text selected. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to Animations and then under these green options here, these are our animation in options. So we're gonna scroll over until we see fade and select that. If you wanna see your animation options, you'll need to click this animation pane option here and that'll pull them up. So we're gonna make sure that all of these are selected and then under the start drop down here, we're gonna do on click. So this means once the video is clicked or you use an arrow key or something like that, it'll fade in the text, it'll trigger these animations. So we'll go to the slideshow and do play from start. And then if I hit the arrow key, fades in the first text, fades in the second text, fades in the third text. Problem is obviously these are fading in on top of each other. So we want text to fade out as new ones fade in. So what we're gonna do is again, select one of these text blocks, 
do Command or Control A, deselect our motion background, and then go to Animations again. These green ones are our fade in options. These ones are our exit options. So we're gonna scroll over on the red ones to this fade option here and select that. And you'll notice that that adds uh, an animation out option. So the way that we're gonna organize these is we're gonna put the fade out of our first line after the second one fades in. So Waymaker Miracle Worker is the first line. And then we want that text to animate out after the second line comes in. And then we would have our second line, this Promise Keeper line, fade out after the third line comes in. Uh, so that's already in the right place right there. And then the last line of your entire song, so I'm just doing the chorus for now, but the last line of the entire song, you would select that and change this start option to on click. So for these other animate out options that are in the middle of the song, you're gonna go ahead and select all of those and then do start with previous. So this means when the previous animation begins, this animation begins with it. So all of these start options are on click and all of the fade out options are with previous. So now if we go back, select this and do slideshow and start this from the beginning and we hit our arrow key, first lyric fades in, hit it again, and that fades out at the same time that our second one fades in, do it again. And then this, we're in this instance pretending that this is the last slide of the entire song. Since we set the animate out to click, when we hit our arrow again, that one's gonna fade out. Last step is make sure that you save your presentation along the way. I haven't been doing that for this tutorial, but if this got deleted, you can see how much of a hassle it would be to rebuild all of your lyric slides and all of your animations. So make sure you're saving along the way. And I'll end by saying all of this is all the reasons that we recommend not using PowerPoint. This already looks like a mess with only three lyric slides here. You can imagine what it would look like if you have 20 of them and you're trying to go back and correct a typo. The other issue with this is that it's super linear. Your song can only move in one direction because these animation options are linear. So if your worship pastor decides to skip a chorus or add a chorus or jump to a bridge that you're not prepared for and don't have organized in here correctly, there's nothing you can do about it. Uh, you can only go forward through all of your lyrics the way that you have them set up. You can't go backwards. So I'll end this tutorial again by saying I highly, highly recommend you don't use PowerPoint and that you instead Google search for a free church presentation software or free worship presentation software. Almost any of those options are going to be better. And the amount of time that you're going to spend in PowerPoint organizing and fixing slides and doing all of these animation options, that time would better be spent just on the learning curve of learning a new presentation software that's actually built for using motion backgrounds. But if you're stuck with PowerPoint, this is the workaround to make it work to keep the motion background looping while you tab through your lyric slides.